What's up guys and welcome to the start of a brand new series here on the channel. Yes, it's finally happening. This my friends is Rainbow Six Siege. So uh, this is a game that you guys have been telling me to play for months and months and months on end. And so I've been waiting for a good time when we didn't have a lot of games coming out so I could really focus on it and get good at it because I know this game has a high skill ceiling. It's, uh, you know, I've played a couple of matches of this before. I really wasn't all that great. It's a lot about like map knowledge, equipment knowledge, knowledge of the different, I don't even know what they're called, not heroes, but uh, operators I think is what they're called. There's a lot that goes into it, and you really kind of have to, uh, to take it pretty seriously if you want to do well. So that's what we're going to be doing here in this series. We are going to be going through, checking everything out, and you guys are going to see me going from pretty much my first time playing to hopefully eventually getting pretty good. And so honestly, I'm really excited for it. I mean, this game came out back in December of 2015, but it's kind of standing the tests of time. And uh, it's still very, very popular. In fact, I think it's gaining popularity here on YouTube and on Twitch and stuff like that. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this thing. Thumbs up if you guys are excited. And uh, let's check out this opening cutscene. I called you here today because we face dire circumstances. Our intelligence has confirmed the existence of a new threat that is unlike any we have seen before. This organization has the ability to carry out attacks anywhere in the world. They are highly lethal and indiscriminate of age, religion, or nationality. The potential for loss of human life and psychological terror is substantial and cannot be ignored. They are the very definition of an unknown quantity. Our only choice of action is to meet force with force. As of this moment, my program is reactivated, and I am handing over command of all global field operations to you. Recruit your operators from among the world's foremost elite. Borders and protocols are irrelevant. Must be the shield that safeguards the civilized world from those who wish to do it harm. No matter how or where our enemies strike, no matter what defense they cower behind, Team Rainbow must stand ready. Ready we will stand. All right, guys, here we go. Holy cow, I'm so excited about this. So I'm sure most of you guys know what Rainbow Six Siege is. If you don't, basically, what we're going to be playing is a super high, super detailed, like high stakes version of Search and Destroy from Call of Duty. So you have the attackers and the defenders, and they have way more that they can use in terms of equipment and drones and breaches to go through walls and doors and ceilings and floors and everything else. It's really, really cool. And um, every single operator that you choose has all sorts of different abilities to be able to help you out and do your thing and it's I don't know it's it's pretty cool I'm excited about this are you serious there's no way hold on <laughs> we're starting off the series we're getting server issues no but I tell you this is gonna be pretty intense I'm really excited about it. all right we're good to go now the thing is is that we need renown renown is what you use to buy your operators and in order to get renown we're gonna have to do some of the tutorials if you play you get renown or you can buy renown obviously it's you know microtransactions that's what a lot of games do nowadays but um tutorials are going to help us earn some renown right off the start so let's go ahead and do this barricade sounds good to me i'm sorry for those guys who were experienced with this game this is obviously it's the first episode it's the only time we're ever going to do this when defending, you can barricade door and window frames to slow down attackers and cut off their line of sight. You have an unlimited number of barricades, and can barricade as much as you want to secure your position. It's pretty cool. Zombie style. Barricades have limited durability. A single melee hit from an attacker is enough to break through. Three melee hits and they'll collapse completely. 
Barricades can also be destroyed by gunfire. Some firearms are more effective than others. For instance, a shotgun is likely to be more efficient than a pistol. Okay. Breach charges can easily break through a barricade. Deploy the breach charge, step aside, and trigger it remotely to take out the barricade. Kaboom! Residual smoke and debris will provide some cover as you utilize the new line of sight. All right, so that's pretty cool. Meleeing looks like it's the most effective thing, but um, I mean, you can melee it once and then use that as a line of sight. But look at that right there. We got 200 renown just for that. Now let's check out what's going on with walls. Wall properties depend on their material. For instance, drywall or wood walls are destructible. But concrete not. and metallic walls are not. Breach charges show their full power when deployed on their primary target, walls. Many walls can be breached. Oh, wow. Some of the destructible walls can't be entirely demolished as they are built on metallic frames. Breaking them creates new lines of sight, but they can't be breached. Okay. Still pretty useful. There is no way to know if a wall is framed with metal studs until you attempt to breach it. Defenders can protect some of their walls with reinforcements. Attackers can recognize reinforced walls by the anchors used to hold the reinforcement in place. Choose wisely. Unlike barricades, reinforcements are limited to two per defender. This is just so crazy, man. There's so much that goes into this. Like, let me give you guys an example of a high profile tip, like a really uh, a kind of advanced thing that you can do is if you break things in the environment, like vases and stuff that puts glass on the floor, then when an enemy steps over that, even if they're crouching, you can hear the glass crunching. So like that and then like breaching to create a new line of sight and stuff like that. Like this game is just, it's an insane game of search and destroy is basically what we're getting into. But here we go, let's check out floors. Breach floors as well, interesting. That was a metallic floor, so I make a full hole. Okay. So pretty much the same thing as wall. Many floors can be partially broken and shot through. For instance, wooden and vinyl floors can be partially destroyed, while concrete and marble floors cannot. Floors are only breachable through the trap doors. Okay. That makes more sense. So it has to have a trap door for you to be able to actually get through it. Otherwise, it's just going to be a line of sight. And you can reinforce them as well. By detonating a breach charge on the trap door, you can create a passageway to the floor below. Defenders can deploy reinforcements on the trap doors to prevent breaching from the floor above you. Cool. All right. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And with that, we just got 600 renown, or actually 800 renown in total. So we got 200 for each and then an additional 200 for completing all of them on the tutorials. That sounds good to me. Situations, play situation, learn the basics, complete a situation, unlock situations and earn rewards i think you can get renowned through that but we are going to focus on that i don't want to do anything too crazy i want to hop in a multiplayer a five versus five match a series of rounds where two teams of five players are pitted against one another multiple game modes and match step up the system okay to select a unique operator before each round each operator can only select one player unlock at least three attacker and defender operators before going into multiplayer go to the operator section use your renown to unlock them okay so we need to unlock these things before we do anything else Unlock a new operator. Okay, so this is for... How do you know who's attacking and who's defending? 
I guess each one of these has a bunch of stuff, dude. These are so crazy. Sledge, Thatcher, Smoke, Mute. I know the ones I want to get here. Um, I want to get Rook for offense and Fuse for defense are going to be my first two that I unlock. So we're going to unlock Fuse here. Go ahead and go with that. Dude, Fuse is, he's really cool. This is one of the guys I have used very little before. I, like I said, I've played like maybe two or three games in total. But he has this ability where you can put a thing up on the wall and shoot grenades through the wall. <laughs> Dude, that's pretty cool. All right, so we got Fuse. He's actually, he's, I think Rook is the defender and Fuse is the offender. I think I had that mixed up. So that looks good to me for his loadout. We're going to go with the AK-12. It's uh, sights. How do you unlock sights and stuff? Oh, sights and stuff take renown too. Shoot, we're gonna need a lot more renown, bro. Otherwise, we're gonna unlock this red dot, confirm that. Otherwise, I think we're gonna be in trouble because we won't have enough operators, really. Okay, so we, we, we have that. I'm not gonna get too deep into these. This is the first episode. I just, I wanna play a match and see how it goes and uh, kind of give us a baseline of what to expect for the future. So now we only have 100 Renown left. We aren't going to be able to unlock anybody else unless we go to the shop. Can you just straight up buy Renown? Investing in this series already for you guys. I want to get you guys some good gameplay. All right, guys. So uh, you all can see we have 2,670 Rainbow Six credits. We got that for 20 bucks, which, I don't know, that's not too bad. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get Rook, which is the only other character I have a little bit of experience with. So he's under Giga, and you guys can see when you go to unlock him, he can only be unlocked with Renown. So I think all of the kind of like base characters in the game, these five right here, um, those can only be unlocked with Renown. So we're going to have to be able to play and earn it to be able to unlock those guys. The other guys, like the DLC ones, it looks like we can just straight up unlock these guys anytime we want. So like, for example, Valkyrie right here, um, we can go ahead and purchase her with Rainbow Six credits. So I don't really know what I'm doing, but we got a new character, kind of cool. Um, probably should have checked out, she's an MPX or a SPAS 12. I mean, that looks good to me. She's got a deployable shield. A nitro cell C4 explosive. Interesting. I mean, that sounds pretty good. So now we have one attacker and one defender. Um, I mean, that's good enough for me. Let's go for it. We're going to go into multiplayer. We're going to play some casual. How do you get clear level 20 to be able to get to ranked? Eventually, we'd like to get to rank because that's where the big boys play. But we're just going to play some casual matches for now. And um, it looks like we're about to get into our first session. So this is going to get real. All right, guys, so it looks like we are going to hop straight into this here. Um, I don't know that our person is available, so we're going to have to go with this here. Um, AR-33, I'll try that out. We've got a breach charge and a stun grenade. So we don't really have, like, a, a special guy because somebody already took Fuse, so we couldn't have unlocked anything else. So we're just going to be a recruit. We don't have any special abilities, but um, that's all right. We're going to see what we can do. The start of every round, everybody gets to pick their character, and you can't have multiple of one type of character, so... It kind of stinks, but uh, it's all right. We're going to be good to go. Also, we are starting this off, the series off on the PlayStation 4. Obviously, there's like a square button down there in the bottom left. Um, I really would like to play it on PC, and that's my final goal. Like, I, I, I want to switch it over. But for right now, I can't really figure out how to record PC games without having it be laggy on the recording end. And I have a really good computer, so I need to mess around with my settings and stuff and optimize it. And figure that out but uh, for right now we're gonna learn the game on ps4 and then by the time we get to computer which is way more uh, intense hopefully we'll be decent at that point in time okay so they've got reinforcements right here nicely done the biohazard container has been located 10 seconds no oh, get me out of here Proceed to buy 
shoot. Okay. They found us, but at least we tagged them and tagged the uh, the objective. So we've got to go secure this objective upstairs in the window. I'm going to try repelling here. <laughs> getting crazy right off the bat. So they barricaded that window. I wish we had our fuse character because we could totally send a grenade in through there. I'm not going to repel directly underneath the window because then they'd see our line. been spotted. Whew. That was not good. Now if we're spotted, I don't know how long it takes for us to be able to... To be unspotted again. Yes sir! Got our first kill! Let's go boys! <laughs> Hanging upside down on a wall. No! There's another guy in there! We saw him too. They're all in there in that living room. Okay, well, still, kind of had some fun with that. That was pretty good. We probably, sh dude, we should have went to a different One window. It, oh man, it's okay. We're learning. The, the thing is, is that map knowledge is key. Knowing where all the windows are and the breach spots are and the walls to go through and stuff like that. That's what's really important and that's what we don't have at this point in time and hopefully we'll get it at some point. So that's what we're gonna do. It looks like this guy's trying to Trying to do what we just did. I don't know what's what's trickier. Coming in the window through the way we tried to. Upside down. Or using it more as like a head glitch like this guy's doing. Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in. He's coming in. Oh, that did not work. It's a 2v1 right now. We've got this, boys. We've got a clutch up. I think this guy might have him. He has a drone where he's, he's looking at the enemy. He just shocked him. Dude, that was dirty! He had a drone right there. He was looking at him, shocked him, and then came around the corner. Oh, man. Okay. So you guys, I mean, you can see all the different things you can do. This, is, this game is going to be so stupid cool. I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited we're finally doing it. Thumbs up. You guys are excited, too. All right, so we're going to try to... Looks good to me. Okay, so we got Valkyrie. I'm gonna change our loadout. She's got an MPX or a SPAS 12. She's got a D50 and a Nitro Cell or a deployable shield. I'm gonna go with the Nitro Cell. So we've got some, um, we've got some C4 here. We're gonna have to try to use that. Oh, this is crazy, man. Secure the room. Okay. We need to protect the biohazard phase. container. Is this guy Rook? I'm pretty sure that's Rook. Okay. So this is what we're protecting. It looks like being in there is going to be a pretty good spot. Probably want to keep these guys from breaching in this room, right? He marked in. He marked in. Stop that guy's thing. What's up, bro? What's up, homie? What's up? Stay on, stay up. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. It's actually you. No, it's actually <laughs> Dude, you, bro. Hold on, chill, chill, chill. I'm not gonna be able to hear game sound. Oh. I don't have my mic in, unfortunately. Oh, oh, take this, take this, take this. Body armor, body armor. Body armor, I'll take that. So this guy's Rook. This is what Rook normally does. I'm gonna keep him uh, unmuted for now. Martin. No way, it's actually you. I wish I could talk to- I need to get my Astros set up. I don't really know where to- so, like, the problem is I don't know where to sit right now. These guys could come from anywhere. Oh, we have our explosive, too. Oh, that's a camera. How do you use your explosive? Oh, no. Rook just came in, or not Rook, Fuse. Hold on, keep watch, I'll try to get you. Bro, 
Bro, Fuse just came in with his ability. Gotcha, That's what I was gotcha, telling you guys about. In. This guy's getting us up. He's outside. He's outside. Oh, he probably left. What the? F Where am I getting shot from, bro? Do I just I get sniped or what? I got sniped. He could see me, but I couldn't see him. Dude, I wasn't using the lean. I've got to use the lean. Look at all these guys. They're all leaning. I think you aim it, and then I think it's one of the sticks. Oh, we have a 1v1 right now. So this is going to get intense. This really is a very, very team-based game, though, so we do have to set up our, our mic for sure. Oh, this guy's got a drone. He saw him. That's kind of scary. He's relocating, though. That's good. Op 4 is securing the biohazard container. Intervene immediately. You will be detected if you remain in this area. What? Seconds remaining. Protect the biohazard container. Oh my gosh, what a play, bro. He was sitting upstairs where he knew the other guy would not be looking for him. Dropped out, dropped in the window, beat him in the gunfight. He's got a sexy looking pink camo on his gun. Holy cow. Dude. That's so cool. That was such oh a good strat. Oh my, too much. I love you. <laughs> I sent this guy a message. I sent him a little heart. I wish... I don't even have the mic, mic cord. I, I honestly don't even know what I would do. I've got to figure that out. Anyway, here we go, guys. We're going to try using Fuse here. So we aren't stuck with just the, um, the rookie character. And uh, this light skin Kakarot... I think it's awesome that the first game that we play, we get a cool dude. Uh, he's balling out here, bro. He's 7-2. and two. We're 1-2 and two so far, so we got to do a little bit better with this. Gonna have to find... Good work. The biohazard container has been located. Find the enemies. Oh, it looks like it's down underneath us. So really what you should do is keep your drone alive if you can. Oh, no, it's up above us. I'm an idiot. Like, get your drone in under a table, under a chair, somewhere where the enemies can't see you. Oh, they have mute. Ten seconds before insertion. I mean, not mute. A uh, jammer or something like that. Five seconds. Is there any way we can get in? No, we can't really get in over there. Um... Yeah, but... But yeah, you want to keep it alive, because then you can switch to it. It's so, like we can switch to our drone right here and look at what's going on. But obviously we're not in a very good spot, so. Clearing the way. What the heck? Are we going up this way? I'm gonna follow our boy Lightskin. I'm gonna try to help him out, because obviously he knows what he's doing. Anybody in there? See you on the other side. I'm trying to figure out a. So that's what we need to secure. Oops, hold on. I'm trying to go down. Oh, what's coming up the stairs? Uh, T Martin. Sorry, bro. Where are you at? The window. Change stance. How do I? Unbreachable surface. Unbreakable surface. How do I activate it? Didn't do anything. Shoot. Okay. Do we have any more of those? I think. Oh, we have two more of those. Okay, so we can do that again. Let's go ahead and repel down in here. Dude, I literally have no idea what I'm doing. So these guys are dropping down. Our objective is down here to the right. That's a T-14. 
teammate. Oh, that's not a teammate. Come on, come on, I got you. Is that not a teammate? Oh, it's right there. Oh, uh, let's go. Woo! It was a teammate, bro. I can't. I literally have no clue where these guys are going to be coming from, and I keep getting whooped. Oh, shoot. That's a teammate. Reload! Okay. We lean. Oh, we're gonna get our lean on, huh? Oh, on me, on me. Oh, man. Got him. Woo! Let's All go, right, baby. Let's go, T. Martin. I rate that. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> we knocked him down, but he got back up. I'm not really sure how the game works. I like he was in like last stand or something. Switch the pistol. Pistol whipped him. That's a win? That's it? That's how it works? So how'd we do? Do we go positive on our first game? Light skin Kakarot. With the MVP. Of course. He was doing good. We went two and two. <laughs> oh. Well, we were there for like the first round, right? So technically, we did all right. I don't know. That was still pretty cool. We ranked up. To level two and uh, got 250 renown. That's pretty cool. Like I said, guys, I'm just trying to learn. So thumbs up, guys. One more from the series. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna catch you guys later. Peace out. Uh, four last operator standing. Five seconds before insertion. What's with the friendly fire? Proceed to the biohazard container oh, and secure. I think everyone's gonna rush him. Ooh, okay, Key Martin. I like that. I like that. <laughs>